Hello all. In this video, we are going to see how to draw back-to-back -back bars in Excel. For this, I have considered um, data of number of health workers are being trained at two different locations, Maryville and Starkville. Among the years 2010, 2011, 12, 13, 14, so on 15, and same way for the Starkville as well. Okay, so for that, I'm going to draw a bar graph for Maryville location first, and then I would draw a bar graph for Starkville location. In order to do bar graph, you could insert um, here, you, you can see column charts and you see bar charts. Bar charts are horizontal basically, and you could uh, do this one, okay? And the next one is for the Starkwell. Draw one more bar chart in the insert for Starkwell. Okay. So now we are drawing side by side. So basically, what we need to do is we have to put this side by side and we would be able to see that. Um, for that, we need to consider only one axis. Okay. So we have 2015. It's all common, right? Uh, years are common. So we will consider only one axis. For that, what we need to do is we have to bring this 2015 to the right side of this graph so that you would be able to have one axis there. For that, you select the x-axis and right-click Format Axis. And in the Format Axis, you could see here to put the values in a reverse order. Okay, once you select that, you would be able to see this. Okay, so the graph has been selected. So I'm going to change the color um, of these graphs. For that, select the graph and under the design, you could see the change color here. I'm going to use a green color to Maryville. Similarly, I want to use A maroon color or uh, related to that color with uh, Starkwell. Okay, so now I see the difference. So if we got almost side by side graphs, right? So here the axis has been repeated. I want to remove this axis. Okay, so but remember the axis starts from 2015 to 2010. Same way this also. So you can select and uh, basically you can select and delete that using delete key select delete and you can remove the uh, grid lines as well here by unchecking here as a grid lines or you could remove with your uh, keyboard also delete key okay so now we got this so here you could see that how many first i want to insert the data here okay uh, insert data labels, okay? And same way in this graph as well, I'm going to insert the data, data labels, okay? So this is a little bit misleading here. Can you guess why? Because in 2010, Maryville is having 494, Whereas 2010, Starkwell is having 323. But which bar is the bigger one? At least from your for your eyes. So visually, this bar is bigger one. So that means we are misrepresenting this to the to our audience. So for that, what we need to do is we have to have the same scale here. Okay. For that, in order to have the same scale, you have to identify which what is the highest value in your score? So basically here we have, um, what's the max value? You know, you could find the max value here. So 494, similarly you get the max value here is 323, okay? so. In that case, 
we want to have the same, the highest value of the x-axis should be the same in both the graphs. So what's the highest value here? 494, right? And 323. So I want to put uh, the axis, I don't want to put 494, but I would like to have like a format axis, right click on that format axis, and then put 500. Okay. And for this graph also, right click format axis instead of 350, put 500. And this should be the, the, the data points. I think this is correct. Okay, so I think this should be correct. So this should start with the 20 as well. And in this graph also, it started with 20. Now you can compare these two graphs and you could easily say that 494 is far better. So the side-by-side -side bar graphs is good. For example, if you have more, I mean, right now we have five, one, two, three, four, five, six, six years of data. If you have 10 years, you know, it would be better if you see this in a nice way uh, from uh, top to bottom or um, horizontally. Whereas if you have column, that would be a column bar or a, a grouped column bar that would be next to each other, which would be a little uh, harder to visualize. So this is one way that you could visualize. However, we are missing something here that is our um, uh, axis, right? That is our ears that we uh, missed that. So for that, what I want to do is, I just want to reduce the graph a little bit on both the graphs, size of the graphs. You know, try, try to be equal. If not, uh, that's okay. Uh, control. Select both the graphs using uh, your control key. And then under the format, you put align. Make sure you align to the top so that both the graphs are at the same place. Okay. And now what you need to do is you have to uh, view, go to view and uncheck the grid lines. So now at least you could see this. So so what we have to do is we need to put our years here. So this would be 2015, 2014, 2013, 2012, right? So 2015 here. For that, uh, we have to insert under the shapes, there is a text box. So insert the text box here. Okay. So this should be 2015. I would recommend write one value in that and we don't want to see those uh, um, outlines and all for that what we need to do is again go to format here it is shape fill i don't want to fill anything and i don't want to fill uh, i don't have to have any shape outline so that would be 2015 like that so i would recommend you copy paste 20 14, 13, you know, I would recommend you to align with these uh, nicely, 20, 11 and 10, right? 13, 12, 11, and 10. Um, I want to put all this in center. Okay, select all of these by using your shift key and we will align these to center. Go to format under alignment align center okay so now we got this so basically this would be the uh, bar to bar uh, back to back uh, um, bar uh, graph here and if you want to copy paste this somewhere what you need to do is basically select everything select both the graphs using your control key uh, or shift it depends um, and then 
go to format you see there is a group here make sure you group that so now the whole thing was grouped and what you could do is you could copy this graph maybe you could go here and paste it the whole thing was pasted here so now you could go to view and grid lines uncheck the grid lines now you could see in a nice way it's a back-to-back bar graph okay so thanks for watching